So with all these social media platforms that are going around, where would you advise artists to put their main focus when it comes to social media? Honestly, every social media platform has a different demographic. Mm. Uh, you know, the way that content is served on Instagram is different from the way that content is served on Twitter versus how content is served on Pinterest versus how content is served on LinkedIn. Like every single one of these platforms has a different way that people like to digest the stuff that's floating around on those platforms. Mm -hmm. So first things first, it's important to understand, um, it's, it's important to understand who you really want to target, um, mm -hmm. you know, and who you really want to reach. Um, if you have an understanding of that, then that'll help you narrow what platforms you really need to be investing your time uh, because every platform has a different age range. You know, Snapchat is like the younger group. You know, TikTok is the younger group. Instagram, you know, we're getting a little bit older. Mm -hmm. uh, Facebook, we're, we're getting older than that. And then like LinkedIn, you know, we're getting like, we're out, there's no teens, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? On LinkedIn. Like, every corporate guys. Business, exactly. corporate, you know what I'm saying? So like, first things first is understanding who, who it is that you even want to address or, or appeal to. Mm -hmm. And then, then take into consideration the forms of content that are allowed on the platform. You know, video, most, most are allowing video, most are allowing, you know, like photos, like that's standard. Mm -hmm. But then each of them have like their own little extra quirks, you know, like obviously Snapchat, there are no pictures, pictures, but, and there are videos, but the videos are short, short form content, mm -hmm. no long form content. There's no like IGTV type style content or YouTube type style content on Snapchat. If, and if that is how you plan on reaching your audience, if you feel like, vlogging is going to get you faster to your audience than creating short 10 second 15 second videos mm. then okay well then maybe youtube is somewhere that you need to be you know what i mean maybe yeah. igtv is something that's going to be appealing to you something like tiktok is not going to be your thing or snapchat's not going to be your thing or right. you might not use reels you might know that you need to be on instagram but maybe reels is not your thing you know mm. what i mean so it's all about knowing what these platforms offer Mm. And then once you know what they offer, then you can call one your home. And then mm. that's when you can start to try pumping out content on those platforms to see how people actually receive them. Mm. So, you know, that's really, that's really the thought process. I know, and a lot of us really don't even think about it that way. A lot of us just, we're just on a platform and we just want to make that specific platform work for us. Well, I mean, you still need to take into consideration you know, the, the demographic on the platform because you could totally be in the wrong place thinking you're in the right place. Yeah. Uh, and that's where and, that education comes in that you spoke of again. Right. And and it's hard to it's hard to feel like you're in the wrong place when you're on a platform where there's where there's five hundred million active users like Instagram. Mm -hmm. So like you might you might very well think that you're in the right place because there's so many different people and everybody's mm -hmm. there and everybody who do who does music is they're doing Instagram. You know, I feel like that's where you need to be because that's just what, where, what the general consensus is doing. But mm. in actuality, your calling might be somewhere else. You have no idea. But, you know, you don't know until you, like, really research the, the platforms and how you can actually utilize them. 